Well, what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's reaction video is five ways british and american suburbs look very different suburbs like a S an estate, estate? yeah I, I couldn't think of the word as soon as you said s i was like yeah estate estate yeah okay i can see i can kind of already see some differences in my head chain mail link fencing chain link is it chain mate chain link isn't it not chain mail chain link fencing? Uh, the fence yeah. yeah the fencing um, i'm thinking bigger pavements Bigger pavements. Um, Bigger front gardens, potentially? Like front yards? Depends, doesn't it? I suppose that that is... I'm being very stereotypical. I suppose on average, the US would have bigger ones, I guess. Yeah, everything comes to size in the US. Bigger houses, I guess, as well. Other than that, maybe local pools, depending on where you are. That's rare yeah. in the UK. In the UK, to have a local public pool outside, and maybe, very rare. I feel like when I think about America, like suburbs, I think about... There's a lot of houses, yeah, but they're quite spaced. Whereas yeah. in the UK, they're like net semi detached houses, yeah. one after another. You've got one party wall mm. in between, that's a semi detached house. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I think space. I think that they is just a key look word. More, a lot more detached houses rather than semi detached. I oh, know, a lot more. Yeah. Semi detached houses, yeah. Yeah, or like completely detached than. Oh, the US has a lot more detached. Yeah, is that the right word I'm using? Detached, I believe, is singular. So a house there, I mean. house there, That's UK I mean. is more semi-detached. Yeah, what's the other word? Attached, I guess. There is a word for it, I just can't think about it. All but... of them just attached. Yeah, that's Maybe what I'm thinking. Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. Like row houses and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. I can't think of the word for it. So I, I won't no, think of that it's Detached, does that mean... That can't mean attached, surely. No, uh, no we've no, rambled. I mean, uh, we have rambled a lot. Smash that one if you enjoy, guys. Smash the subscribe button. That's what we do here. We pause way too much. We talk way too much. But if you enjoy reactions, check us out. Because if you want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Yeah, you don't have to watch us. Yeah, so that is for everyone who says we talk and pause too much. We know, but we just be us. Uh, we try and fix it. We did it. be a reaction without pausing and talking, so... We probably do do it too much, and we're no. probably talking too much now. But at the end of the day, it's but now our I'm genuine. I'm gonna keep doing it because I feel like <laughs> it, 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 it's our genuine reaction. So unfortunately, if we want to say something, we will say it. And the link is in the description. We're sorry, we're sorry if we annoy you, but it is what it is, I guess, isn't it? You ready to get into it? I am. Five ways British and American suburbs look very different by our mate Lost in the Pond. Link in the description. Check him out after this video. Let's get what we got. Why are there so many words for this? And what do you call it, other than that grassy thing over there? Hello, I'm Lawrence, and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America did we, did lost below high See words for this, and no, why we, are there so many... No, he just goes into it. Words for this, what and what do you call it, other than that grassy thing over there? Hello, I'm Lawrence, hmm. and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos pertains to the suburbs. Yeah. I wonder if he says Specifically, well. how they differ when you Thanks. go for a walk around them. For having lived in the suburbs of both countries, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm easy. Okay. <laughs> for having lived in the suburbs of both countries, I'm well attuned to those differences, and so I'm going to talk about them today. Now, before we do that, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, do that now. In the meantime, let's it. go for a walk. Let's go. You're mm. going to keep going. Alfie, you just it? love Alfie? the camera, don't you? Alfie. You're such a ham. Alfie. You're such a ham. You know, no, no. Alfie. We had, <laughs> I'll be quick about this. We at work today, they were talking about someone who'd sent, I apologize to all Alfies out there, someone who'd sent the CV into the work, called Alfie, and I said, I'm sure Alfie's a great guy if you want to accept whatever. But for some reason, Alfie just, I think of a dog's name. That's because your dad's neighbor's dog. Because I only know Alfie's as dog. In real life, I don't know anyone called Alfie, I only know a couple of dogs called Alfie. So it's like, for, for some reason, and I don't know. Every it. dog's Alfie. Every person's Alfie as well. <laughs> every, I don't know. It's awful. <laughs> Sorry. And we're going to start this list by talking about something you may or may not have heard of called verges. Verges are that little strip of grass on the other side of the pavement from the front yard. Uh, While these do okay. exist in Britain, it's far more common to see a front yard slash garden, a sidewalk slash pavement, and then the road with yeah, the cars going common. in the other direction. In America, it feels like 80% of the time you are on the verge of a verge. There are a lot of verges here. And it's nice having them. I just wish that when I bought my house, somebody would have told me that I would be responsible for mowing them. Because while it sounds like small work, it's made harder by the fact that there's always a tree in the way. And while we're on the subject of trees... Bigger trees in the US? 
I've no. talked before about how there are different types of trees here, but that's not what I want to talk about. Nor the notion that your average American suburb has more of them, because I'm not entirely sure that it does. In okay. fact, I want to talk about grenliness. What's grenliness, Lawrence? Grenliness is a word that I made up to describe the degree to which something is green. Sort of like what cleanliness does for the you word. You know what? Yeah. We have mentioned this in our videos. Have we? Like when we've been doing like videos of cities and stuff like that, and you've seen like, oh my god, the grass looks oh, so green. Oh, I thought you meant grenliness. I was like, I've never said that in our videos. Never before. used that phrase before. First time. How green everything is, yeah. How green everything. We have highlighted like, oh my god, it looks so so green. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, grenliness is a lot special. <laughs> we did, we didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, grenliness. I wasn't sure where that was going. Yeah, me neither. Clean. I just I want to get a word into the dictionary, and I can't really describe it, but I think there's something different about the grenliness of American trees compared to those in the United Kingdom. I'm not a scientist, but I think there's a vibrancy to the leaves of trees in the United States that you just don't see in Britain. Oh, yeah. Why and I do some wonder dull? if some yeah, of that is due dull. to photosynthesis, right? That's what we learned about in school. There's typically less cloud cover here in the United States compared okay. to Britain. And I think that allows the grenliness of not just the trees, oh God, trees but the grass so like to take shape. Green. I won't yeah. do that with the camera ever again. Ew. Yeah, but, yeah, but look at the sun as well, though. Oh, it's beautiful. So that is probably why they're so green. Yeah, the photosynthesis that Owls. Lawrence was saying. Owls are just dull because it's <laughs> not very dull. dull. It's just dull weather. But there you go. That is what you would describe as a detached. Oh, no, you were saying detached. Right? Yeah, that's a detached house. That's, yeah, a that's de what I was going to Let's not get into it. That's a detached house. So it's yeah, detached. From I need everything. to know what the name is. I believe it's a detached house. Yeah, it's detached. It's a house on its own. It's a yeah, single house. But I house need to know detached. what the, the house is. We'll join together a call. I need to. I suppose like row houses or something like that. Maybe. I, I, I'm going to find out after this video. Or just a tab. I don't think it's a tab. I think it's row it's houses. It's going to annoy me. Thing is, I work in construction. I should know. You should I, know this. I had... A semi-detached house would be if that house was attached to that one, but not attached yeah, to Yeah, like you could get to its garden from the right. Um, yeah. And the thing is, I did. I have a high national certificate so, in construction. So could you tell me what, if they were all joined together, what would it be called, please? I remember the PowerPoint slide. I remember seeing it. I remember him talking about it. It's really annoying. I just don't want to embarrass myself right now. It could just be attached. It might just be attached, but it sounds so simple. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> Perhaps the most enduring image of a stereotypical American house is not the house itself, but the white picket fence that surrounds it. But while America undoubtedly has more of these than Britain, a lot of American suburban homes are perhaps Very more American. notable for having yeah. no partition whatsoever. In other words, there's often very little protecting your front yard from wandering humans or even children. Thankfully, despite the open invitation, people typically stick to the sidewalk the unless the name though, contains the words gym and chainsaw. In Britain, an open face front yard oh, yes, is considerably no, less common. To be fair, that is very common. In the UK. In the UK, yeah. In Jersey, not so much, but in the UK, that is... So common. I was just thinking of my dad's estate. I think your dad's think estate is an exception in my Yeah, because that is very open. But that, but when, that, when I've seen that, that's when very you common. See, that's like terraced houses. It's just, that's a, yeah, that's so it's common. very, very common. That is a typical semi-detached street in Britain. Yeah. That is very I mean, typical. Some of them are attached. Some of them are attached on the left side. On the right side, I was looking, look semi-detached. Mm. Uh, very typical that, isn't it? And the parking on the... That gives me so much anxiety over that. <laughs> Common that with picture. most houses opting not for a fence, but a low-lying wall or hedge. Yep. In fact, it's often along these walls that you'll find our next entry. Cats. Signs. In the no. past, I've talked about the general difference between British cats. and American street names. Yeah, for example, in Britain... No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. Because... You also you see a lot of cats sitting on these walls, yeah. But it's very common in the UK and in America. Not many people have outdoor cats; they have indoor cats. So that's what came to my mind. So you saw the sign, and thought. No, it, I was processing it before I saw the sign oh, right. and it's said it while the sign was. Accidentally said it. <laughs> Joe, I said at the start we try not to talk too much and waffle and all that. We've done that. I, I'm not doing this on purpose. We've done it way more than this. You know. Well, every town and city has a street named after Queen Victoria. Whereas in the US, there's a good chance that your street name will contain either a president, a number, or a type of tree. Yeah, but there's also a, a major that. difference in how the street names are displayed. 
In Britain, it's not uncommon for the name to be displayed on a two-foot placard. These are normally mounted yep. either onto two low-level poles or a wall. Yep. In the US, things are a little different. The street names are housed on smaller, greener placards that sit on a much taller pole. Oh, and wow. given the grid-like nature of many American neighborhoods, these poles usually contain not one, but two street names. One facing east or Imagine west, the York other north or south. Yep. This is why you'll often hear American film characters say something like, Hey, Johnny, meet me at 21st and Washington on the double. In Britain, we don't really do that. It's more like, meet me at the pub at 9 a.m. <laughs> Bring your darts. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the darts in port. The pub's open till 11 And then there's the terminology we use to describe the stuff in our respective suburban lands. You've got yard instead of garden. Yeah. Sidewalk instead of pavement. A downspout instead of a drain pipe, although oh, Americans okay. would also say drain pipe. Spout. Medium. Okay, they also say drain pipe, but I've never heard downspout. Spout. 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 I said sprout, I don't know why. Oh yeah, you for spout, I've never heard that. Down, sp I guess it spouts down. Yeah, there you go. And um, um, we say down pipe and you say don't drain we... pipe. Yeah, we, we say... say down pipe. No, we say drain pipe. Down pipe. I've never, I've always called it a drain pipe. We can say drain pipe, it's a down pipe. He just said drain pipe. For America? No. Drain pipe, garden, sidewalk instead of pavement, a downspout instead of a drain pipe, although Americans do also uh, say drain pipe. I say down pipe. Me oh, the comments are going to come to you <laughs> no, again no, today, I, aren't they? Oh, I think it is. I've, I've obviously, mm. I've, I don't want to put the salt accidentally, I'll just chide. I've poured loads, and yeah, now they're they completely like you again, are they? Yeah, but I just say it. Oh. Rainwater pipe, down pipe, SVP. I'm thinking at work, a down pipe, a drain pipe, yeah. Ah, uh, here's my accent. I was saying drain the entire time. Just play the video. Go, 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 go. Medium <laughs> instead of central reservation. And finally, there's a word difference for something that I spoke about earlier. <laughs> verges. At least verges are what we call them in England. In America, you really verges. Doubted me. I really <laughs> doubted myself. When you went back, I was like, oh crap, maybe I'm going to be wrong. I would, I would it's so, so prevalent that no See, single American can agree on what to call them. I'm sorry, Pennsylvania and parts of the Midwest, they apparently. <laughs> we've got to get back because we've not heard any of this video now. Something that I spoke about earlier. Verges. Okay. At least verges are what we call them in England. In America, verges must be so prevalent that no single American can agree on what to call them. In Pennsylvania and parts of the Midwest, they apparently call it a berm. In oh, the wow. Upper Midwest, it's a boulevard. I've heard boulevard strip, have you? I didn't know it referred to that. Okay, we've heard it. I've heard a boulevard strip. Of course you have. Boulevard, Broken Dreams. Yeah, I know that song. Or uh, a one. boulevard no, strip. New Englanders it's might go with show. a common. In parts of Ohio, it's called a curb strip, while in other parts of Ohio, it's called a devil strip. People oh, in Ann Arbor, Michigan have been known to call it an extension lawn, which makes sense because it's an extension of your lawn. New Jersey seems yeah. to like the term grass bay, while others on the East Coast go with grass plot. Except okay. for Long Islanders who think it's an island strip. In the Pacific Northwest, oh, the word course, median Island, suffices, while Northern Californians think it's a most strip. Wow. Down in the Gulf states, it's often known as neutral ground, which okay. also makes sense because while a verge might be an extension of my lawn, other people's dogs do routinely shit on it. <laughs> what do you call this, Arthur? <laughs> lawn to the language. You can even yeah. leap. Yes. Oh. Some states know it as a parking strip, a park row, or a park row strip. In Wisconsin and Illinois, it occasionally goes by a right-of-way. Alternatively, some Americans opt for sidewalk lawn, sidewalk plot, sidewalk strip, and okay. in central Indiana, I once heard it called a sidewalk taint. Like, what? In southern Florida, some might even call it a swale, swale even though that sounds more like a species of fish. Some Missourians call it a terrace, which coincidentally is what the British call row houses, while some Americans will call it a terrace house. That's what it is. Terrace house, is it? Yeah, I can't yeah. believe you didn't tell us that with your, with and your I, architectural I know, I knowledge. Believe, I, can't, I can't believe we said attached. What idiots are we? <laughs> like, no, no, no. I'm okay to say that because yeah, I've yeah. not got a qualification in it. And I, I, yeah, it's I'm embarrassing not, from you. Oh, yeah. I hope none of my work's watching, so I do apologise. Um, Someone's getting sacked in the morning. This video has been a shambles, hasn't it? Yeah, it's funny. Hopefully though. you've enjoyed. It's been a shambles. So we apologise. It's funny, though. Banter. Tree box, a tree belt, or a tree lawn. Tree Why are lawn, there so okay. many words for this? And I was what just about to say, there's so many so different many words. words. I think that, as like in itself. What do we want to call it? What, what, but I think that explains it? how big America is. One hundred percent. Because it's like 
Oh, UK, yeah, no name. Americans call it this. Well, no, actually, Americans call it about 50 other different words because there's like 50 yeah. countries in America. 100%. Like, that, I think that just shows how big the country is. Well, look, that's a great point. That is I, a great point. I'm on it. I'm on, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> Uh, what are you going to say? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You call it other than that grassy thing over there. Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for this episode. Oh, Let wow, me know. That was good. What Enjoy. would you call it? Um, I would just call it a bit of pavement grass. The verge does make sense, and I've heard him say verge. But before that, I'd just gone a oh, bit of grass, a pavement. bit of land, mm, yeah, bit of grass there. Um, I don't think I really have a word for it. I don't really see it that much. Yeah, I don't know. No. I do apologise. I've been a shambles in here. To be fair, in our defence, it is like hot ten, um, and we're pretty much recording this out, recording this so you guys can see it in like an hour. I'm going to quickly edit it, upload it. I do apologise. I've made a bit of a shambles. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy it? Yes, very good. What's your video? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.